I mean, I couldn't ask for a better team to step up to the big bike class. I've been looking at these guys since I was on Geico. For me, seeing Kenny obviously doing really well, and it's just been awesome being around him and now being his teammate and being on this great team. I'm super excited and it means a lot to me. We work really close with the Geico Honda team and with Chase and you know, watching him develop these skills and he's, he's ready for this 450. I know we're, uh, we're actually looking forward to him getting on the 450 and uh, he rides it really well. Um, we've been out testing a few times now and uh, things, are, things are going really well. Moving over with Chase, I'm very grateful he brought me with him. And you know, growing up, Honda's just like the pinnacle of our sport. So the fact that I even get the opportunity to be on the factory Honda team is a, a dream come true. It's you know what most mechanics dream of, and uh, most of them don't achieve. So the fact that I'm on here, it, it's just amazing. And but the work doesn't stop. We you know now there's tasks at hand, and you know we got to work harder. And and uh, I'm really motivated. So. I've only had probably like 10 days on the bike total, but overall I feel really good on it and I feel like my, my riding style is made for a full routine, so I'm uh, looking forward to it. If you told me I'd be a two-time champion when I started uh, my 250 career, I'd kind of laugh at you, but uh, obviously winning in 2019 was awesome, but I feel like I Everyone said I got lucky, and then going this year and winning five out of nine races, and really, I guess, making a stamp that I was the best guy this year, and winning the East-West Shootout, I think that was kind of like my last thing, and like now I'm ready to move on. So, really happy with how that went, and uh, overall, just looking forward to a new chapter and um, with this awesome team. <laughs>